Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by here. I have another product that I would like to review uh, that I just recently bought for my upcoming trip into Idaho BDR. Normally, I, as you saw probably in many of my other videos, I do have my uh, jerry cans attached to my uh, hard panniers, uh, the Bumot hard panniers. But this time I will be taking my Bumot soft panniers. I want to try uh, to see if I can travel long distance with the soft panniers. I'm so used to the hard panniers, but uh, I find it uh, that off-road, it's a safer way to travel with uh, soft panniers, obviously. So I will not have my uh, spare gas can. I do like the spare gas can since this is a 2017 uh, Africa Twin CRF 1000L and it's not the adventure sport model so it does not have the big fuel tank and when you are stuck in a remote area I like to have uh, the peace of mind that I don't run out of fuel uh, wherever I'm going or like you, you have to spend an extra day somewhere whatever then um, that gives me a little bit uh, peace of mind. A gallon of fuel on a bike, it's uh, quite a bit. What it is, it's a Giant Loop Armadillo fuel bag, and they do come in different sizes as well. They come into uh, one gallon, two gallon, three gallons, and all the way up to five gallons. Uh, that's more probably for off-road vehicles. Um, they don't advertise it uh, as it's a fuel bag, but it is meant for fuel as they did all the testing on uh, on their website if you're not familiar with it i really recommend uh, going into a giant loops video and um, having a look what kind of abuse uh, they putting that bag through um, so you can basically mark what kind of contents you carry in my case it will be gas i will show you that in a second i just bought a, a fresh uh, jerry can of gas and I'm gonna fill that up but before I do that I want to show you how um, the design of this bag and all the features so this bag here it's a brand brand new just arrived uh, like two weeks ago never had a chance to fill it up yet uh, just wanted to share that with you and it is made of uh, Kodura fabric with uh, inner line TPU inner liner so which is quite durable it's the same fabric what you'll find on Bumot soft uh, soft panniers they also are made of Kodura and that's the second generation as well the first generation never had that storage here on the side for the fuel nozzle so basically inside here once I open it there's two flaps and there is a fuel nozzle storage uh, compartment along with your instruction manual. Uh, I don't know if I really need that, but it's there. So I still recommend putting this nozzle inside the Ziploc bag or something. Uh, this way the moisture or water will not go in inside here. So it is super light and when it's empty, it you can roll it, just roll it back and it can fit even inside the tank bag or in your backpack if you want to store it away. So it does not take a lot of room and I think it's a little bit slightly over uh, half a pound maybe, uh, maybe slightly over, like a really, really light uh, product. And it comes with the Molly webbing to attach, uh, whether it's to your bike or I can even attach it to my uh, panniers when I have them, um, the, the hard panniers uh, or even the soft panniers on top through with this uh, molly webbing. It is durable, they, they put that thing through some crazy tests uh, riding the, the Tenre 750 on top of it and uh, even uh, tossing it uh, around on the ground, all that stuff. It's, uh, they, uh, they really tested that bag and uh, it, uh, it looked like it's a good product. A lot of uh, other people are using the Giant Loop, and, uh, like the soft panniers or other bags, and uh, they, nobody ever mentioned that's, um, that's a problem. Uh, it's a good quality product. This is a one gallon and what I will do right now, I will try to fill that up. I'll show you how uh, 
I'm not gonna do it on a motorcycle because I don't wanna spill all the fuel on top of my seat. So I'll move myself onto a ground level. Uh, one thing is, uh, for sh you don't fill that bag all the way up. Uh, there is a limit how far you fill that up. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. So the fuel line level is actually indicated right here on that sticker. So that's a max fill line. And we will attempt to fill that up right now. I don't think we need that. It says read instructions or warranty is void. I already did that. I looked uh, at it more or less. So we should be good. And one thing to mention is that uh, when I fill up my jerry cans or any bags that I will store the fuel for a longer period of time, I will use the highest grade of uh, gasoline. Uh, this way it has a longer lifespan while sitting un if it's sitting too long unused. I wonder if I'm gonna get any messy with this or not. We'll find out. It is leaking. Not the easiest thing to fill, I, th I tell you guys. And I'm not sure why is this leaking either. Let's see. I got sprayed with fuel when it popped out of there. Oh, I made it messy and I overfilled it. Let's pour some of it back there. So what's nice about it, it also have, has a mesh, it's, uh, the wire mesh, so you don't get any uh, debris inside your fuel tank if, the, if there's any. Now, just gonna dump a little bit out of there, not too much. That's a pretty messy demo. Okay, now we're about right there. I'll dump the rest of the fuel inside my bike. So this is it. So that's um, 3.8 liters of fuel or one gallon. And it's nice and compact. So it does not take a lot of space now I have to let it dry of course to get that smell out of there but who cares it will be out on the outdoors so it shouldn't be a big problem and it will dry out the gasoline will evaporate pretty quickly and yeah they they did some crazy testing with it by tossing this around and driving it over it's uh, it took all the abuse and there was no issue so now as we have it mounted so you can have it here uh, I can even put it under my bag and uh, I, it doesn't come with any straps. So Giant Loop is offering uh, straps that you can purchase separately, but I have lots of uh, those little straps, uh, the similar ones that, I, that you would mount uh, the duffel bags or any other luggage. I bought a set a while ago and those ones are brand new, not even used yet. So yeah, you can attach it right through the molly webbing. I'll go around the rack here and go through under the handle. Same thing with the other side. Tie it in. I'm not gonna do the other side because I was just here doing a little demo and it stays there secure. Another option is I can put it on top of my hard pannier and have it right there, but that would be probably too much weight. Three, three additional liters on top, I don't want it because I heard that that plate might give in one day. So there you go, that's how that looks. Uh, if anything, I would mount it on my hard panniers or my soft panniers on the side. That would be probably more ideal. So nice and simple and there's many ways uh, to secure this. You can be as creative as you want to. Ooh, smells like gas everywhere. So that was a nice and short review of the Giant Loop Armadillo fuel bag. I find it, it's a really good product, well tested, and I hope it's gonna serve me well for a few years. 
uh, it's good to have the peace of mind with that extra fuel. As always, uh, if you're new here and uh, you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.